my grandfather used to play uh, baseball. He had brought his uh, his fighters to the park. The fact that I knew that they was boxers, I knew that they could fight, and I knew that nobody else would try them. Um, it just made me want to like go to the boxing gym and learn how to fight and learn how to box too. And as soon as I got to the boxing gym, it was just like I fell in love with the sport of boxing. That doesn't surprise me what he's capable of when he really dedicates and puts his mind to it. You know, it's almost, sometimes it's almost scary, you know, and particularly in the ring, like I said, you guys haven't seen, or we all haven't seen the best of him yet, man. But I, I'm pretty sure, I, I can pretty much guarantee you, or as he finish, he's gonna do some very special things. I knew exactly how that fight was gonna go. I knew how good he was. I knew that I had to watch out for his power or not get into no brawls, just be dominant. And that was my game plan going in and I did that. Mentally, I knew after round two, three, he was defeated. I picked his brain apart. He ain't got nothing for me. He can't reach the level of thinking that I'm capable of doing it. You know, I made it kind of easy work. I outboxed him. I stood in front of him all night. I was right there. I was directly in front of him. It wasn't, it wasn't no looking for me. He ain't had to look nowhere. You can't find somebody right there in front of him. It might be a ghost. <laughs> I wanted to send a message to like the boxing world, no. I'm here to stay. But I was letting the world know that I'm here. Like, I'm not going nowhere. So at the end of the day, y'all might as well get used to me.